I'm from Ogun State, Remo Ogiri, precisely. Um, I'm from a polygamous home. On my mother's side, from my mother's side, I'm the only girl and the last born. And um, I attended Onoyade Primary School. Then I proceeded to Jibo High School, Jibo. Then my tertiary education at um, Lagos State University, Ojo Campus. I studied communication arts. Um, let me say it runs in the, in the blood. My dad used to be an actor with the Awarawa group back then with um, Jideko Soko. But I remember when I told my mom my intention that I want to be an actress, she was like, no, you cannot be an actress. Blah, blah, blah. Permit me to say this in Yoruba. Let's say, so you're not going there. Go and study something else. But as fate will have it, as God wants it, you know, when I finished school, I tried to get a job, but none was coming at that time. And you know, I was getting frustrated at home. So I was, I was close to my boss then at LTV. It's uh, Mr. Agbesonwa. He was the new director then. So, you know, I told him, I said, sir, it's like all these artists that I see here on Sundays, because they do come to LTV, it's that, sir, I'll go and meet one of them. I want to become an actress. And he was like, Victoria, are you for real? No, 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 no. You won't do that. I said, sir, I'm serious. You know, it discouraged me, but I went behind him. I didn't let him know. So I went to Afolabi, one Mr. Afolabi, he worked with Bayowa then. So he was like, ah, you have to go to eat pan. I said, okay, but once I go to eat pan, will I be able to act in the movies and all that? He said, yes. Unfortunately, I found out that it wasn't that easy. You have to join the Yoruba movie industry. You have to, you have to join a carcass. I joined Ray Yiwumi organization. So after that, I produced my first movie, and since then, it has been. Glory be to God, I am the CEO of Victoria's Beauty. We deal in skincare, massages, spa, anything, anything, if you want to glow. Just come to Victoria's Beauty. And um, right now, I'm adding something to the business. I know this one will make a lot of people like, hey, hey, we've said it. Now we do enhancements. I know people, hey, I know, I know. <laughs> we do breast enlargement. <laughs> and I don't want to say that. I have touched it now. It's an um, in invasive um, procedure okay. to enlarge the boobs and the bum bum. It's not surgery. It's a, it's a procedure that you don't have to cut anybody, you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Sincerely speaking, be you. Do you, whatever you want, go ahead and have it. It's just one life. Leave it for you and not for anybody. Period. If that's, what's, if, if, that's what, if that's what will make you happy, then go ahead and do it. Yeah. Excellent. I've never sold it before. It's even now that I'm planning to... Honestly, I've never sold it before, but now that you mentioned it, maybe it's a calling I have to answer. Yeah. I've never sold sex toys before, but now that you mentioned it, and I think somebody mentioned it to me like last month, that be all to buy that sex toys with the man make, or maybe I'll look into it. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yes, thank you for that question. Please, I don't know. There is this, um, there is this thing on on Google that you know when you Google Biodo okay, oh, the age on on Google. I don't know. I don't know who came up with that age. 
They said I'm 47. I'm not 47 for crying out loud. They bad me. Honestly, I don't know who came out with that age for me. They started that thing like four years ago. They started with 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And they started counting for me. And I'm very sure that by December 26 this year, they will say I'm 48. Enjoy that one. I'm not even up to 40. Hey, Joe, please. I don't like, honestly, I don't like, I don't know how I can correct that thing. And I've posted it, but you know, people still come to me like, ah, we had you at 47. You are looking so good for your age. What are you doing? I said, I'm not 47, please. I'm still in my late 30s. I'm very, very young. I'm a young girl. I'm not 16, no. <laughs> Before they would now say, I'm hiding my age, you. I'm not 16, but I'm, I'm not up to 40. That's the truth. So I think, thank you for that question. I love that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Though it's not, um, it's not something I, I love to talk about, but you know, you have been asking me all questions and I've been answering, so I think I have to answer that. Number one is, I was never married. Um, I had my kids out of wedlock. And I would like to correct something here. I don't know how that, um, I don't know who did the interview then that I said I got married as a virgin. I was never married. What I said was, the father of my kids met me as a virgin. We were never married. We were never legally married. Maybe the interview was conducted in Yoruba. And you know Yoruba interview, when, when talking, think about when Yoruba affair, our affair me, as in, I don't know. That's like, okay, affair is married. But you know, in English, like marriage is marriage. We were never married. I had the kids out of wedlock, but I was a virgin when I met him. So nothing happened. I think, um, I hope he gets to see this. Maybe he wasn't ready, you know. We ladies were, well. okay, I wasn't a lady, then I was a girl. I was a young girl. You know, when you are so in love, like you just, like you just want to stick to that person. You know, people will ask me that. Eh, okay, you guys didn't get married after the first, um, the first mistake. So why didn't you just go away? Why did you go back? How come about the second girl, you know? And I have this to say, when you are in love, in fact, if your parents like, they should take you to seven, mountain. seven mountain. You will still find your way to go back to the guy. Sure you understand. When I had my first son, that was when I got into school and somehow, somehow I was sneak. I did part time because I couldn't do full time anymore because then I had a boy. So somehow, somehow, even without my mom's knowledge, I was sneak and I would go and see him. And that's how the second girl happened, you know, and well, Glory be to God. I thank God for where I am today. But I have never been legally married. I don't know how they got I married as a virgin. You never see me. You never see me say that, that, okay, I got married. Because we were never married. We were never married. The first happened. The second happened. And I'm very, very single. We were never married. <laughs> It's a lie, oh. I have a serious relationship, oh. Oh, my me. Oh, my kids, no. One thing I ensure is that they don't lack anything. I go out of my way to please my kids. I make sure they don't lack nothing. Nothing. And another thing I do is I try as much as possible to make them talk to their father, to call him, you know. I do that because I don't want to separate. I don't want the gap. I don't think they are missing anything. 
and my children are my friends, you know, we talk, so they are not missing anything. They are fine, they are just fine, they are good. Yeah. It is, oh, I, I said it now, it is, oh. Honestly, it is. I don't do things that I really love to do normally. Let me tell you something, I forgot. There was a day, there was a day I saw this woman roasting here by the roadside, somewhere around um, Bega. You know, I just got down from my car, like, okay, Mufe Laura, because I wasn't the one driving. And my brother was driving me. There is no way we can park. I don't know if you know that area. That new beggar that did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, that's when you are, like, you are coming from Otedola. That bridge. Right? That bridge. So I just got down from my car and I stood, I bought the yam. That's how this guy was like, Oh, my body, I saw you. You know, the guy was like, Oh, my body, I saw you. I'll, 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 I'll post your picture on, in, on Insta blog that you are buying yam by the roadside. I said, Oh, God, look. Oh, yeah, snap. You know, the guy just started laughing that it's a lie. I'm just joking. So I love to do things like that, honestly. I wish they can just free us. Another thing is, I don't know who made this love. Um, public figures not repeating their clothes. Honestly, I don't know. Because me, when I wear a cloth or a gown that I love, I would love to re-rock and re-rock and re-rock. Because any more, I would be more fear. I could let him you the war. So, you know, those things, you know, like, there is a gown I bought for like over 300 and you know, immediately I wore it once and like, ah, you can't wear it again, no kilo day. Do you understand? If I have my way, those things, I will want to do them again and again. So let me stop there. Ah, uh, hmm. I'll take Okada like Jesu meal. Ha. Huh. I will eat anywhere, like bukas anywhere. I'll, you know, I'll just, I love um, Ojojo. Like whenever I'm, dri whenever I'm driving and I see any woman, anybody frying Ojojo, I just love to park my car, get down from the car and buy the Ojojo. But you know, they will tell me, Honestly, I'll do a lot of things. I'll do a lot of things, I'm telling you. But number one is that Okada. Ah. I'll apply your card like anything. I'll just do me. I'll do me. And you know, I'm this kind of person that I don't really like doing makeup. But they will tell me that, ah, no, you are a face. So, you know, when you're going out, you need to look good. I'll go out without makeup. I'll See, there are so many things I'll do, honestly. There are so many things I'll do. Yeah, so many things. I said something earlier on. I said, live your life the way it pleases you. Do whatever you feel is good for you. Um, for me, I don't do it. But if anybody likes it, then maybe that's, what's, maybe that's what makes them happy. Maybe they get their fulfillment from people rejoicing with them. They get their fulfillment from people celebrating them. I don't see anything wrong in that. And I still say once again, never say never. I might wake up tomorrow, maybe if I buy a house in Banana Island and I feel like, ah, now I want to flaunt. So never say never. I won't because <laughs> I wanted to say something, boys. Ah. I want to. I enjoy that thing. Ah, honestly. <laughs> honestly. You know, I had to think about it. Like, I fear, like, you know, it's continuous. Ah, no. If it is not the thing, go gone. It can never be sweet like the thing. Forget it. Yeah. Oh, it can never be. Forget it. Forget all this. Um, what do they call it? Auntie? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Honestly, if it is not the thing, I know it can never be.